Welcome to Vietnam, Bad Company 2 Vietnam to be more specific, and this has been my base for the last three days. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, which is why I haven't really been posting many videos this week, and I just wanted to play a game that I could relax in, one that wouldn't really matter if I did well or not, something that was going to make me happy, that I was going to enjoy myself for every minute that I played, and that game that I always come back to is Bad Company 2. And the last couple of days that I've been playing this game, I've been specifically playing the Vietnam DLC. So just five maps in rotation on Rush. On this server right here is probably the most fun that I've had in any Battlefield game for a very, very long time. The server itself is kind of modded because the points that you get for whatever you do in the game is times 15. So every time you get a kill, you get 5,000 points, which just feels infinitely more satisfying than playing the standard game and only getting 50 points a kill, I think, in that game. But it just meant that I was laughing all the time because I was getting all of these points doing some outrageously stupid things on the battlefield. Don't know if you saw in the first clip on Fubai Valley, I jumped up over a fence a couple of times, sprayed, and got two kills out of it and 10,000 points. It just felt ridiculous, but it made me laugh, it made me smile, and it kind of reminded me what Bad Company was all about. I made a video nearly two years ago now, which is actually an extremely long time ago, that was called We Love Bad Company, and the reason I made that video is because DICE came out and said they didn't know why people loved Bad Company so much, and to me, it was a really stupid thing to say, because it's very obvious to me why I love Bad Company so much. But it might not be to the people who made that game. They might have just hit an amazing formula, didn't really mean to do it, and ended up with probably one of the best infantry battlefield games that's ever been made. The reason that I love Bad Company so much, first of all, it was pretty much my first main battlefield game. I played a little bit of the original Bad Company before Bad Company 2 came out, and I did go back to the original Bad Company and play through the campaign and get a little bit of feeling for the multiplayer, but this right here, Bad Company 2, was my first full Battlefield game. I played from the beta all the way through to the last DLC, which of course is Vietnam. And despite the fact that three other Battlefield games have come out since then, none of them have hit the spot quite like Bad Company 2. It's almost like your first love, or the first car that you drove. It doesn't matter how crap that car was. You're always really going to remember it as your first car. That's kind of what I've got here with Bad Company 2. I know that there's some massive flaws in this game. It's very, very clunky. And on PC, it really wasn't a very good port from the consoles. But despite all of that, I still love it. And I will always like it more than probably any other Battlefield game that ever comes out in the future. I mentioned that the game's clunky. It is very, very clunky. And for me, that's kind of a good thing because, well, it was a console port. The game was specifically made for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. I mean, the first Bad Company game didn't even come out on PC, but the second one did. I don't really know why the decision was made, but I guess because they wanted to kind of try and pull the PC market back in again. There hadn't been a PC Battlefield game release for quite some time. And maybe they just thought, hell, we'll just throw Bad Company 2 at them, see what they make of it, and then Battlefield 3 comes out in a year's time anyway. So they can just play this for now, they can have some fun, and then a real game will come along afterwards. That kind of paid off, for me at least, because I played on the PS3, and I played like 1,200 hours of the game on PS3. I absolutely adored it. I would come home from school, I would do my homework, of course, like like a good person, and then I jump straight onto the PS3. I'm not afraid to admit that during my exam leave, when I was supposed to be studying, there was a lot of time that I spent playing this game. It didn't do any detriment to my exams, because I passed those anyway, but I'm never going to regret playing that amount of this game. Just the way that it connected with me, it didn't take itself seriously. It was just a little bit clunky, it was a bit fun, it was different, but it stayed true to the main Battlefield theme. It was all-out warfare, which is what people wanted. And so when I was feeling down this week and I didn't really want to play normal Battlefield, I didn't want to get involved with some of the stuff in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, 
I just kind of went back to this. I thought, well, let's just give this another go because it always makes me smile. And I found this modded server, which was running a hardcore mix, but with all of the softcore options still turned on. Like you could still see your ammo count and the minimap, 3D spotting was still on there, hit markers were still on there, but it applied the hardcore health model, which meant you only had 60 health and there was no health regen either. So it was kind of like this stupid arcade system where three bullets at close range would kill somebody and you could go on a massive rampage and just rank up so many points and get a really good feeling about playing the game. Somebody would eventually kill you but there was no respawn timer so you could just jump straight back in again. It was just this relentless stream of fun and I'm really really glad that I jumped on on Friday night. I even shared my opinion on Twitter as well. When I first played the game on Friday night, I played the game for about an hour that evening and it really did put me in a good mood. So I shared my opinions on Twitter and I kind of asked you guys why you liked the game so much and I got hundreds of responses. So some of them are on the screen right now, but maybe you could just leave me a little bit more detail in the comments today. If you did really like this game, then tell me why you liked it. I really want to bring more footage of Bad Company 2 back onto this channel because, as I mentioned, it was my first Battlefield game and maybe I could do some live commentaries or something. I was even speaking to Prodigio Pete and he agreed that we could jump in and just play some games together and obviously having someone else there play with you when you do a live commentary does make things more interesting. So if you want to see stuff like that, let me know in the description, but I want to know why you guys love Bad Company 2 so much. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, let me know in the comments why you love Bad Company 2 so much. And while you're down there, if you could drop me a like, that'd be really appreciated. It shows me that you like these videos and I can do more of them. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.